Hello, just a fast update of uh, what stage is the the project. This video won't be much about the project, but uh, uh, more like for building uh, uh, accessory for this uh, for this gantry crane. And I designed that uh, 3D cut uh, model for for this uh, for that accessory and. Uh, once I start building it, you you have a better idea how that's going to work, and uh, hopefully the final result will be successful. Yeah, so about the project, um, looks like a lot more complete than actually is, and uh, that's uh, because I fitted the new engine and the gearbox, but I had to check the clearances just so I can finalize uh, the the position of the engine and height wise, and mainly. And the angles and whatnot. Um, also, because of the rear uh, pinion angle and the the prop shaft uh, angle length and you know the, and, and the incline of the engine, I had to have the um, the body and the top in the back as well, just so I have the, the suspension compressed and pretty much have the the, the final ride height, so I can uh, I can double check these angles and uh, take it from there. Let's crack on. Without contraption, I got some steel ordered the other day. That's here, some angle and flat, and uh, that's HDPE plastic. That will be for uh, sliders. Again, you'll see what I mean <coughs> when I start it.
core from the cut designed to to the actual piece. So this is the contraption that uh, I was talking about the other day. That should help me to lift the cup on and off the chassis. Um, yeah, I mean, now probably it's clear what, what I meant. So the cut design and uh, see how it works. So pretty much as a tackle box in here. The idea is, is to have this lifted, lifting the, the cup on the double folded edge here. So that's why I have got these channels and I've got uh, some rubbers to put in here so I can protect the, the body. Like, and uh, the idea is it's pretty universal this thing now because uh, you could go in and out, just adjust different height and also the the hook for, uh, for the tackle box. So, hook in the tackle box and adjust, adjust where you want to be. And see, it goes up and down. So the thing is going up a meter and almost 20 and uh, until it hits uh, the, the pins on the frame. So that's a perfect height for me. That should clear the engine and gearbox and I should manage to lift the body up and roll the chassis back then drop the body I might have a couple bars here on the actual um, gantry crane just so I can have that thing rest and uh, and just shoot it away until I work on the on the chassis yeah and see how it works actually The chassis is still bolted, but uh, you can see see us how it is written the whole jeep. Um, simple as that. I mean, this this tackle box got capacity of a ton, and the other box is two ton, but the the gantry crane is a ton, so I can lift uh, a ton and a half, a ton and a half, so I can lift a ton safe. Between the two tackle boxes, that's half ton each, and it, this, this this chassis is less than a ton, then it's not so heavy. Um, yeah, that's quite happy with the result. weekend to to complete a thing but uh, it's worthwhile because it will save me a ton of time plus it will be much safer um, yeah you can see from here the the double double folded edge on the on the cup which will go steady in here obviously I'll have the, the rubber band to protect it and uh, that's it pretty much there we go all the way up to the tackle box that's how it looks and this is the other side done as well tackle box is just around. I think that will 
be a wrap for this for this video and uh, I can move on to the project thank you very much for watching see you in the next video